Lock picking. Three and a half years ago, I learned to pick a standard lock. That's one that uses a key. It's pretty easy to do, actually. All you need is a little kit that you can order off Amazon, and it took me about 47 minutes to be able to open my garage door. But now I'm back to further my Ocean's Eleven skill set with a combination lock. Originally, I actually thought these were impossible to pick because you couldn't use like a tool to manipulate the lock like you do with a key lock. However, a good friend of mine learned how to pick these locks, how to decode them, so I'm gonna give it a try for myself. But aside from just learning how to do this for fun, I actually have some real world use for this skill because I have an issue. When we started improving the studio about two months ago, I chained up these bikes that were just lying around. So I chained them up with this master combination lock and of course, I have no idea what the combination is. Bummer. I'm gonna try and learn to pick the combination lock to free up these bikes. So this is day one, our zero. So this is our brand new master combination lock that I got from Amazon. And if I look on the back here, it tells me the combination, which is 8455, which means I can get out of the box. Okay, and that gets us out of the box. The way that you set your own combination with this lock is with this little key here. To get us started, I had Kim set a random combination on the lock. So just like with the traditional key lock that I learned to pick, the best way to learn to exploit something like this is to first understand how it works. To discover how I might decode a combination lock, I took this cheap one apart to have a look inside. The mechanics are actually both ingenious and relatively simple. To unlock this, the shackle must move upwards. What stops that from happening are these little wheels. We can remove the number markers for now. The shackle has teeth that stop it moving through the wheels when they are misaligned. You can see that each wheel has a little notch, called a gate, that allows the teeth to pass through. It's pretty easy to align one wheel by chance, but four is difficult. To decode the lock without first knowing the combination, you'd have to feel when each wheel is in the correct position. That is, align the gates on all the wheels with the teeth on the shackle. Despite the other padlocks I have looking different from this, I believe they all work with the same principles. Clever, but this design can be exploited, apparently. The way you do this with the key is you apply tension with a wrench and then try and find the pin that's sticking. So I think that the equivalent here is to apply tension to the shackle. And then I'm gonna try and find one of these wheels that's sticking. So it seems like the first wheel here is binding when I apply tension here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just try and rotate this through all the digits until I feel like a click or a move. That's what I did with the, that's what I did when I was picking the key lock. So zero, one, two, three, four. Not getting anything here. Maybe I'll try a different wheel. What I'm trying to do is apply tension to this shackle here and then when I fall into the gate by moving this, the shackle hopefully moves a little bit as it's freed up from that wheel. But so far, having no luck with that. So my next plan was to start at wheel one and progress down and try and find a number on wheel one that causes the next wheel to go stiff because I think that that would mean that this is the right number on the first wheel. And I think Master is a pretty reputable brand, so I deliberately tried to buy something that was reasonable. This was about £20 off Amazon. Okay, so wheel two is free to move, so let's try one. Oh, wheel two is stiff now. If I set the first dial to one, then the second dial stiffens up, so I'm thinking that, that this one must be one. So let's try moving the third dial, then moving us to two, checking the third dial again, to four, five, six. Just wondering if Kim set it to one, 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 one. 
Let me check. No. <laughs> what about zero, 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 zero? Always check zero, 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 zero. I think the second combination, the second key is also one. When I squeeze that, and this is set to one, the third wheel stiffens up. Okay, I think, now when this is one, one, three, the third, the fourth dial is really stiff to move. So I think I might have it. Now it's just a case of going through of the other dials. Six, seven, nine, zero. <laughs> That is ridiculous. I mean, I'm happy that I did it, but I'm also shocked that it was that easy. I mean, that was way too easy. Perhaps that was a fluke. So I set a new combination and tried again. So neither of us know. So not, nobody knows now. <laughs> Four, six, nine, seven, eight. Yeah, there we go. Four, six, nine, nine. <laughs> Same result. That's crazy. Your <laughs> face is so short. Okay, so now I'm going to try the same technique on the bikes, which is not in such an easy position, not so ergonomic. Hopefully I can free them up. So I have no idea what the combination here is. I've tried birthdays, one, two, three, four, zero, 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 because I did set this at one point, uh, but God knows what it is. Let's try it decoding this with the same idea. So I'm gonna apply pressure to the shackle by just pulling upwards. So let's go try two. My tried and tested method wasn't working here. It's not one. It's not two. It's not three. This one doesn't seem to work with the technique that I was doing before. However, there is something else that's happening. I can feel the shackle actually move when, when I turn the dial. So I think I can feel it falling into the correct gate. Like when I moved that to one there, I felt the shackle move. So I'm sure that this one's one. It's also much more wobbly when it's in position one, which makes me think that it is in the gate. Whoa! You did it! Cracked it again! The bikes are free! Piece of cake! <laughs> yes! So, how to pick a combination padlock? The techniques for this are shockingly simple and easy to learn. I actually used two in this video, one for each of the locks. Technique one. Whilst applying tension to the shackle, check each number on the first dial until the second dial starts binding. That's when it becomes difficult to move. This tells me I've found the gate on the first dial. Repeat this process for the second, third and fourth dial until the lock opens. It really is that easy. For the padlock on the bikes, this didn't work. However, I was able to feel when I found the gate on each of the dials. Once again, apply attention to the shackle and try to move the dials until you feel the shackle move upwards slightly or the dial becomes a lot looser. This tells you that you've found the gate. Repeat this for all four dials and it unlocks. Out of curiosity, I wondered if a similar technique could be used to crack these door combination locks. So I built a little wooden safe to test this out before fitting this lock to the studio and Kim set a random combination. This lock literally took two minutes to crack. All I did was apply tension and push the buttons that were binding or stiff. That's it. Two, X is loose. Six is kind of loose. Seven's loose. Right, definitely eight, eight. And I think nine as well. Nine. Zero is loose. Whoa! I think... Ugh. That's it! So the intent of this video is not to show you how to become a thief. 
I mean, stealing is still illegal, so only pick locks that are, are your own, but hopefully it does show you that combination locks, at least, aren't the safest, and these door locks, these are a bit of a joke, really. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. This was a bit of fun. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace.